There's this 45-year-old woman named Kimberly Smedley who um, basically injects silicone into hips and butts of strippers for $1,000 per injection. Wow. And people don't even know, first of all, where she gets the silicone from, and she administers it in hotel rooms by referral. People text her, oh, I want an another injection. Where can I meet you to get it? And this blows my mind because this was only brought to the FDA's attention because um, there was a stripper who was hospitalized and almost died from these injections. And she now has silicone in her lungs permanently. And she has a whole bunch of other problems. But this woman's out on bail. So and she, she, is she a nurse or anything? She's no, just a woman? she's not a doctor. She's not a nurse. She's, she's just nothing. this woman walking around with a lot of ones. They it's said like, when they searched her, she had 18 gauge medical needles in one of her handbags. And wow. I, how stupid can these women be to let someone do that to their body? Is this Miss Smedley that we're this looking at her. here? This is her. Well, I would obviously let her. She looks legitimate. Perform any you know medical procedure on me? Yeah, she can afford tile and everything. She's got a nice office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's probably at a coffee shop nearby. <laughs> right. Jesus, it's an unbelievable thing that she and she's just she. She's just living at home right now, probably injecting some people. On her spare time. And what happened? Still. Where? What's? Is, is she still She's out? She's out on bail. Right. Um, and I guess they're still investigating to see what else they can I'm gonna get from I'm going to try her. my joke again. Did she pay her bail in ones? <laughs> <laughs> there, it worked. Finally. Okay. Good. Are you liberals suggesting that there should be regulation on who can inject people with massive doses of silicon and change their body type? You guys are job killers. I do job not. Killers. I do not ever want to be accused of regulating the stripping industry. I mean, ever. have you ever even heard of hip injections? I've never even heard of that. No. If there's no doctor doing it, why would you let a random person do that to you? And what woman thinks her hips are too small? Does that happen very often? I don't know. Blame it on Kim Kardashian with her huge butt, and everyone wants it now. Oh, I guess. I see. Maybe that's what it is. And they said this is interesting to me. They said that they looked at her receipts and her. Her records to see if she, if they could tell where she was buying the silicone from. Yeah, where'd she get that? And the only thing they can guess is that she bought it at either Lowe's or Home Depot, <laughs> which is not. Wow. They don't sell medical grade silicone. I mean, silicone from Home Depot. Right, silicone from Home Depot is like caulk. <laughs> it's like it's like you put to stop leaks. Like this story continues to amaze me. Well, she's an entrepreneur. She's amazing. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> She's a job creating entrepreneur. Yeah, that's we true. We should tax her at the lowest rate possible. <laughs> She's she's the one percent. <laughs> oh, she's out there working and she's not living in her feces. Oh so. my gosh. I'm just like, what is the world coming to? Well, okay. It's pretty awesome actually. <laughs>